Hello everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. This one, real quick one, I'm going to show you how to reintroduce camera movement or camera shake, camera motion. A lot of people will shoot shots on a tripod or using stabilizers or various machines and gimbals and things like that. And then you realize that you want to add a little bit of that handheld motion back into the shot. I'm going to show you how to do it. It is a piece of cake. Let's start from scratch here. So I'm going to delete everything here. Why not? Let's just go right from the beginning. This should take about 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds. Okay, grab some footage like I've got here. Drag and drop it on new composition. Nice and easy. Now, click on the S key or hit S for scale and then scale your image or your video, pardon me, up to about 108. And the reason why is we want a little bit of a buffer zone on the edges here so that when the camera shakes, you don't get any of that black bar look. Okay, good. So we've added in a little bit of scale. Now we're going to go over here, click on the left side. We're going to click on this down triangle and we're going to open up the position. And what we want to do is we're going to use a very simple Mickey Mouse keyframe here. Uh, pardon me, we're going to expression is what I meant to say. <laughs> so all you need to do is hovering over position, hold down the option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC. Holding it down, just click on that stopwatch and you'll see that this goes red here and you'll see it opens up this scary looking transform dot position. This is not nothing to scare you. All you gotta do is type this in wiggle. Just type in the word wiggle and then the bracket and then go, in this case, I'm gonna go five comma 10. What this is basically is it's the frequency of the wiggle and the amplitude of the wiggle. Those are the only two things that we're covering here. This is all you need to know to create camera motion or that movement. So I'm gonna go 510. You can of course adjust this as you see fit, but let's just go with that. I'm gonna click out and then I'm gonna hit play and watch this. We've got camera motion. Now, if it's not, an, if you want more motion, you can go in here and go instead of five or instead of 10, you could do 520 and then you'll get even way more motion. So watch this. Lots more. This is kind of like that bouncy, you're running after somebody, maybe you're chasing a suspect kind of look. If you want less, of course, you can do something less, like something like maybe two, and then something like five. Again, these are just numbers. You can, of course, adjust them as you see fit. This is very subtle motion. As you can see here, as I scroll through, you'll see a slight motion around the edges. But that's it. That is all there is to it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.